Hey, how are you? I was just thinking, um, if, 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 if I'm thinking about something, really thinking about it, if, if I focus on it hard enough and I have some reference points from which to base an opinion, it would make it easier for me to decide what would be better for me or worse for me. I mean, if people were going out doing things and we are doing things to each other that inflict pain and, you know, tragic emotions, and it's possibly because we haven't had any references toward this or in this or about this. Um, if we had references or points that we could refer to when it comes to this, we probably, probably wouldn't do it. If someone mistreats you or gets on your nerve or does something bad, uh, usually what we do is we, we, we go back to all the other. We have a file on all the bad stuff they've done. Try this. This is just from me to you. Try, try to use the file of the good stuff they've done. That may throw the balance off of the pain you're feeling from the recent bad thing they've done. Look at what they've been doing because of the simple fact that you're still around these people. That means they, they must have been doing something good at some point somewhere along the line. Balance. Look for a balance. Uh, getting ready to revise uh, some more of my books. I'm getting ready to do some really good stuff. Uh, good friend, uh, Ms. Landers, uh, we're going to do some stuff. She's going to do some punctuation to help me with my, because I'm not a good uh, punctuator. I used to be able to punch good, but I'm not a good punctuator. <laughs> I'm feeling really good. I got a lot of work I need to do, but I want to make this video to send a thanks to her because it made things easier for me to see that I can still rebound from the last bound. and Pound for pound, it's going to be a good rebound. I'm getting ready to go away soon. And that in itself is a good thing, because by the time I come back, there will be things that have been built while gone and while here. I guess I just wanted to share this and get it outside so I can hear it, too. I'm not just making these videos for you guys. I'm making these for me, too, because I need to hear this, too. I've been there, done it. I know what it's like to be terminal hip, fatal slick, and deadly cool, you know. And I'll tell you a quick story before I end this. Uh, Deadly Cole was rolling up the block, and he was supposed to go to the funeral of Deadly Slick. Or was it Fatal Slick or Terminal Hip? Well, anyway, when he got there to the funeral home, there was nobody there but him and Slick. And, and Cole, Cole was in the box, you see. Cole had got taken out because of his attempts to be this cooler than harder than, smoother than. He didn't have no references on how to realize that you don't have to be uh, so cool and so hip and so slick. Sometimes you could be a square and still be around. Um, I don't want to go too deep into the story because I feel good and I'm not going to destroy this video trying to be too hip, slick, and cool. So remember, you know, when someone does something, it's probably because they don't have the same references that you may have that are giving you this opinion about what they did. If someone does something bad to you, someone you know well enough to say it hurt you, then you, you pull out the good file and base it against that last action you didn't like and alleviate the emotion that you're feeling towards them. No need to get upset after being upset. Make it harder for you to be upset. Make it more difficult to be upset than it is already. Put them to work. Somebody's going to hurt you. Make sure they earn the right to say they hurt you. <laughs> you guys have a good day. Yeah, have a good day. Peace. Like this.